All right, hello everyone. This is a review of, well, it's an unboxing actually, of the GE Link bulbs. There's two of them. And the Link Hub, which came with it. This was a $50 special from Home Depot. And I'm going to do an unboxing and then we'll go into what it is about and uh, what we can do with it and what we can't do with it. Okay, the bulbs are straightforward. Okay, I did I did manage to open one of the bulbs, and as you can see, it's a, it's a GE bulb, and it uses the it uses the uh, uh, the GE uh, Zigbee protocol to uh, to talk to it, and a uh, bit on the heavy side, but you can see the LEDs uh, inside it, and. Uh, you know the hub obviously talks to the um, the bulbs. There's two of them. It came with two of them. I only opened one. Uh, but anyway, this is what the bulb looks like. Comes with, comes in a very nice, fancy box. Okay. With that said, let's move on to the main puppy here, which is the uh, which is the wing cub. So I am going to un break the seal or break the seal rather well we'll read the box we'll read what's written in the box also okay so let's read what's in the box um, here you have the wing hub controlled by uh, an app which you run on your iPhone or Android device and it talks to smoke alarms light bulbs security and uh, I don't know what that is but I'm guessing it's either a garage door opener or some kind of an outlet um, here's their app these are all the manufacturers that they've partnered with uh, like namely like Slidge for, for your front door and um, Lutron lighting Quickset also for your front door kitty uh, carbon monoxide and fire detector uh, I'm sorry smoke alarms uh, and Bally shades uh, which should be very impressive and Leviton also power you know outlet and uh, switches what's great about the wink hub is it works with all these protocols. It works with Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, Z-Wave, and Zigbee. Uh, there are other hubs out there, like namely the uh, Smart Things of Hub, which also works, I believe, on all, all these except Bluetooth. Then there, are work, then there are ones which only do Zigbee. Then there are ones that only do Z-Wave, or they do Z-Wave and Zigbee, uh, whatever. There's also uh, the, um, the Belkin Wemo, which I don't know whether it's Z-Wave or Zigbee or it's their own proprietary protocol, uh, but I'm guessing it's Zigbee. But this hub does all the different protocols, okay? Um, ideally, we would just take it and uh, we would just connect it up, uh, you know, register on the Wi-Fi, register with uh, the Wink uh, cloud, and you're good to go. Oh, I guess I should show you the front. Oh, there you go. Well, it's window coverings, that's what that, that diagram was, I guess window shades. Anyway, ideally, you, we would, that's what we would do. We would just uh, take it and connect it all up, connect up our um, other things, and uh, we'll be good to go. However, we're not going to do that. And there's a few reasons why we won't do that. Oh, here you go. One page setup sheet. Download, place near your Wi-Fi, connect. Uh, put your Wi-Fi instructions and it says light status and you're good to go but we're not going to follow these setup instructions and I'll tell you why we're not going to follow the setup instructions because this Wink Hub along with other similar products like Smart Things Hub and <coughs> excuse me and Belkin Wemo whatever they want you to connect to their cloud and all your transmissions happen through their cloud. In other words, for example, if you're home and let's say you want to turn on a light, your connected your your mobile device is connected to let's say your Wi-Fi. Obviously your your Wink Hub is also connected here to your Wi-Fi. So when you say turn on the light, what it's going to do is your request is going to go to their cloud and come back to your Wink hub at home and then talk to whichever device you know turning on the lights which whatever so 
a, the, the issue with that is one, if there's no internet connection, it's not going to work. Second, there's going to be a delay. Why should your request, when you're at home and you say turn on the light, go from your home over the internet to their cloud and then come back over the internet into your um, Wink device and then you know talk to one of the power devices that you have uh, configured. Why do that, right? It's just a waste of time to, to do that and so it slows it down. And second, it puts the Wink hub cloud service whatever in control. I believe you also have to give them your Wi-Fi password and why do that. So we're not going to follow these setup instructions uh, even though they are uh, straightforward. Instead what we're going to do is something different and, and I'll talk about that in, in one second. Um, let me just open it up and very nice, very nice packaging. Um, so here it is. Um, Here's the, uh, here, uh, it's a little bigger than I expected, but I, but I guess uh, it is big. Um, comes with uh, comes with a power adapter, which is right here, which is right here. And, and basically that's all there is. You just plug it in into this thing in the back and you are good to go. However, like I said, we're not gonna follow those instructions. We're not going to, we're not going to uh, connect it directly to the internet. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to be hacking it and we're going to be using an open source system called OpenHab. I think it's called OpenHab. Uh, anyway, we're going to be using this something called OpenHab, which will allow us to gain control of the Wink Hub and um, it will um, prevent it from going over the internet so everything will stay in your home network and you, you would still be able to control it you know even when you're out of the house so well, obviously you'll be able to control it when you're inside your house well you know where your Wi-Fi is and even if you're in another city it can come over the internet and still be able to control it um, just like it would normally do with the uh, uh, with the Wink Hub so we'll go over uh, some of those uh, later on but uh, again you know it's uh, very straightforward uh, and it's probably this is probably the one of the better ones uh, because it's fifty dollars including the light bulb and the best part is it goes through all these protocols so that's the key thing here it uses all these different protocols it works through all these different protocols so let's say down the road you want to buy something let's say it is a I don't know a garage door opener and that garage door opener only does Zigbee or the garage door only opener only does Bluetooth, you're ready for it because this will work on those protocols. So don't lock yourself into a hub that only works on one of these or even two. Try to get one that works on, on most of them, uh, if not all. And uh, the other one that works on all of them is called Smart Things of Hub. However, they haven't released a version. Uh, well, Smart Things actually went, well, has been bought up by Samsung. Um, so you know that they're going to ask you to pay some kind of a premium service if you want a lot of the good stuff. Uh, so I did not go with that. Uh, actually, the, the new version has been released. Uh, I'm sorry, the new version has not been released uh, as of this video. Uh, it's coming, yeah, I believe, in third quarter. And even that one, uh, you know, they, they claim that it'll work without connecting to the internet. Uh, but I don't know. It really um, it remains to be seen, and it probably sells for more money. Meanwhile, this is 50 bucks. You get two light bulbs and the hub. Does all the jobs. No monthly fees. Um, and, uh, uh, you know, and it can be hacked, which is probably the, the best thing of all. Thanks for watching.